Hello everyone, this is Rajiv Kumar Behra from the Department of Agricultural Extension, working as Ashtam Professor in Institute of Agricultural Sciences, Siksha Anusandhan, Bhuvaneswar. Today we are going to discuss a most important topic which is very much interesting also that is your agri-entrepreneurship. So let's start our discussion. Here you can see the picture of floriculture. Here hydroponics. Okay. Here you can see some nascent areas of agripreneurship development in India. Tomato cultivation, gottery or fishery. Okay. Next come to the content. What we will discuss here in this topic that is your concept, need and scope. We will discuss one by one in details. So first is your concept. Okay. So what it is telling? Agripreneurship is defined as generally sustainable, community oriented, directly marketed agriculture. So it is sustainable means it is not affecting the environment. It has no such a, a bad effect on the environment. It can be sustained for a longer period. It is community oriented. Agripreneurship is a community oriented activity means it can be done in community. Not single, a, a single man can do this work uh, so that it is community oriented mostly and if it is going on in group activity then it will be successful and it is helpful for the people also okay and it is directly marketed agriculture okay and but uh, here you can see that it is marketed agriculture means normally a, a farmer do the farming for production purpose mainly he forget about the marketing so here if a person is agri entrepreneur then he is normally more profit oriented or market oriented okay so here sustainable agriculture means a holistic system oriented approach to farming that focuses on the interrelationships of social economic and environmental process so it uh, balances that uh, create a balance between social economic and environmental process also okay so it doesn't affect the environment okay in a bad manner so it is healthy it creates an healthy environment it creates a healthy environment okay next here you can see a picture of sustainable agriculture where you can see this uh, soil salinity management is going on energy management is going on then nutrient and soil fertility management then integrated pest management pasture lands management erosion management fishery and aquaculture management, wetlands management, then water and irrigation management, livestock management, post harvest losses management. So many activities are here. Uh, go, uh, here you can see going on. So it is uh, just a, a process of uh, making healthy environment with profitable enterprise. Okay. Then come to the need for agripreneurship. So what is the need? For agripreneurship, let's see. Here, your first need for agripreneurship is demand and uh, demand uh, demand organic and quality food. Now, in India, an abroad is very much high. It is increasing day by day. So, if we want to produce more organic food, more quality food, then we have to go through this agri entrepreneurship so that it is sustainable okay this this is your first need for agri entrepreneurship next is your second is your competitive advantages for many primary production activities in agriculture for example grand fed farming livestock and wild craft production is through low cost production technologies only so here you can see the picture of a grand fed farming that is going on with a very few less cost okay so we can adopt this type of uh, farming also then 
is your livestock farming we can uh, we can adopt livestock farming goatery okay we can keep cows okay dairy this we can poultry these uh, these are the some examples of livestock farming in the picture also you can see clearly so next is your wild crafting also okay we can collect uh, uh, some uh, product from the forest area you can see the picture okay next next is your third one third need is private sector is willing to enter in to agri business at all levels of operation so here your third need of uh, agri entrepreneurship is the most of the agri business most of the private sector are uh, are willing to enter into agri business okay so most of the people are now interested about uh, to be an entrepreneur in agriculture sector so here uh, some examples of private sectors are given so some, uh, these are relays india limited uh, bangalore karnataka najibedo seeds limited hyderabad telangana lamken india agro equipments private limited nagpur maharashtra then Ad advanta limited hyderabad telangana then monsanto india mumbai maharashtra then pops organic estate tiruvala kerala then national agro industry ludhiana punjab then rashi seeds salim tamil nadu okay so these are the some example of private sectors who are mostly interested in agri business okay next is your here you can see the picture of uh, different uh, different to uh, top 10 agricultural companies in india so you can see the picture here some products that is manufactured and produced by that uh, companies private companies that is uh, your uh, different equipments uh, seeds fertilizers okay next is your fourth need of your agri entrepreneurs it is mostly it will be mostly helpful for whom the people who are affecting by the malnutrition mostly in india children and women are affecting by this so we can feed them and we can meet the need of them so we can reduce the malnutrition by adopting agri entrepreneurship as it is creating an healthy environment with profitable and also your giving the production or increasing the production okay next is your scope for agri entrepreneurship here some technologies we can uh, that are related to that uh, reduce the cost of production increase the benefit of the farmers simple and time saving drudgery reduction social and psychological benefits to farmers this if technology are related to this then that will be helpful for uh, making the environment better okay so we can take uh, this type of technology so that we can get more profit in this sector also okay so here we can see some on farm activities that is for on farm activities here it is given that depending upon the geographical situation and resource availability the possible areas of entrepreneurship in agriculture are first is your ag agro produce processing units then is your agro produce manufacturing units then is your agro inputs manufacturing units then agro service centers so let's see in details here first is your agro produce processing unit so here you can in, in name itself it is telling that it is the uh, processing unit okay it's just process that one it is not converting that product it is these units do not manufacture any new product it is not producing any new product it just processing um, uh, processing only here they merely process the agriculture produce just like in your uh, rice mills dal mills decorticating mills here is an example here i have given that uh, from the uh, your ground nut uh, that is uh, seed is uh, seed and cell are separated okay this uh, both seed and cell are used for different 
purpose also next is your here also you can see this paddy from the paddy rice is producing okay next here rice meal uh, your photographs are here you can see then come to the second one of uh, on farm activity that is your agro produce manufacturing units we have read that that is that was your processing unit but here it is manufacturing unit means manufacturing it 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 create new products okay so for example sugar factories bakery straw board units etc so here from the sugar can sugar is produced so that is totally different product here in agro produce manufacturing in it totally new product is producing okay that is the difference between your agro uh, processing unit that is your okay Not, uh, next is your agro inputs manufacturing units so here you can see that uh, it is telling about inputs manufacturing what are the inputs then that is some examples of inputs are here fertilizer insecticide agriculture implements so these are the inputs of agriculture sector so here the sector or the institute or that company are producing that uh, units are producing these products here the pro uh, your inputs uh, are your fertilizer insecticide agriculture implements are they are producing so these units produce goods either for mechanization of agriculture or for increasing productivity okay next is your agro service centers okay so here it is telling service it gives service already implements and uh, so many things are produced but here it is providing service service means here repairing suppose an implement is not working properly tractor is not working then where we will go we have to go for such service center we have to contact them they will help us uh, in how to repair that one okay we can take the help of any training uh, also how to use and how to uh, get more profit from the business these all things are uh, these services are provided by the agro service centers okay here an example is there asa agriculture skill council of india another example is here you can see that uh, De department of agriculture development and farmers welfare agro service centers okay here you can see some off farm vocations so first is your chalk making second is your carpentry third is your knitting fourth is your agarbatti making then pottery then your last one is cloth printing so these are some examples of uh, of farm vocations already we have read that on farm vocations four parts are there that is uh, four uh, types and it is uh, here it is we are just uh, uh, seeing some examples of off farm vocations six examples are here you can see clearly so another allied agriculture we can uh, see here that uh, some allied agriculture are dairy sericulture shrimp farming floriculture fisheries these are most important uh, activity that you can take for agri entrepreneurship okay so this much only in this uh, lecture session if any anyone has doubt then you can uh, write your queries in the comment box and uh, so this much only so we will finish here Thank you for listening. Have a good day.